go. Hi, I'm Mario Pokemon Shadow. And I'm Tori Imahara here with the video camcorder. And we are about to take on the route to Lentimus Town. Now we will warn you, there are a lot of optional trainers on this route. Uh, however, we didn't really feel like taking them off screen because we really, really wanted to get to the next part so we could get to the next city. Because we wanted to, you know, do that and make it, I don't know, there. I guess is the point. This is my path. Okay. And I have to go on this path. Yeah. <laughs> I kinda can't uh, I can't I kinda can't avoid it here, dude. Oh, and off screen we also got um Ice Punch Ice Punch and Atlas. Foul Play. Foul play will help us a lot for uh the next gym as well. Well, as Ice Punch. <laughs> Two times. We're going to have to have a talk about that. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Who's good against fighting? Not really, but just nice. I said who's good, but this'll work. Yeah. So ooh, ooh, ooh. Let, let's show off this. You also got this off screen. Extreme speed. I love this move. Didn't do that much, but it's great. Still, it's awesome. Flamethrower. Yay, Yay, we won! We avenged Anubis! And we would, again, like everyone to be level 46 before we hit the Dragon-type gym. Because that will just help us not to die. And yay, Anubis is back! Much better. Look at that. All better. Let's take on our next dude. Oh. He's more not optional than optional. That other dude is more optional. Yeah. What is that? That is a Scrafty. It is a dark fighting type. Interesting. So, force palm up to death? Yep. Nice. Yay, one hit KO. Wonderful. Thank you, Anubis. And lots of experience. See, I see a dude running around here. Hey, talk to me. <laughs> but I guess this is a more optional trainer because yes. I don't think you have to go this way. No. But don't. we're just battling these guys because we want experience and money. Money, money, money. <laughs> it's a normal type. Against a fighting, fighting type. type. Who shall win? Indeed. Uh oh. We flinched. Mm. But we raised our speed! Yay! Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's it got? Oh Cute no! Charm. We need we need one of our females. Yeah, it's 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 in love, but wait. But he still used our pulse. Yay! <laughs> It's dead. Hurrah. So hopefully that means the Q Charm's effect will wear yep. off. Because it's only specific to one Pokemon. Electric. I think we know who to use for this one. And not really. This is an electric type with the ability Levitate. Ah. So it does not have a weakness. To ground type moves. To anything. Ah. So basically... 
hit it with all the power you got mm -hmm. and hope it goes down. Damn. What is that the evolved form of? Because it's definitely an evolution. Dynamo. We didn't see one. Ah. Uh. It was in the electric cave type thing. Ah. Uh. So this is not the way you're supposed to go, but we found an item anyways. It Ultra is an Ball. Ultra Ball. Awesome. So being curious pays off. There's another trainer. Eh, we can battle him off screen. Yeah. Because we would really like to get to the next city. And I know, the quick way. So that helps. It's like, move, dudes. Person that we can take on off screen. I see a shiny up there, but... Actually... Okay, that was a good ninja move. Yes, those very good ninja skills are there. Strength. And we get an item. Red shard. Hey. Yay. I think I went the wrong way. But at least we got an item. Ninja skill, ninja, ninja skill. Oh. Hey, item. Where? Right. Oh, no, that's a boulder. Sorry. I, like, yes, like an yes, item. yes. Boulders and items look, look very similar. I, I don't know how you could tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> There's an item. Max Ether. Nice. Restores all the PP of one move. And we're at Lunchimus Town. Yay! No, I mean, sorry. Lacanuso Town. My bad. I always get them mixed up. Hi there, MPS. Hee <laughs> hee! I use fly, so it looks like I beat you here. <laughs> I don't know why you're so excited about that. Thanks for your help in Reversal Mountain. Professor Juniper, if you go straight past Lakanuso, that Lakanus, that Lakunosa town, you'll reach Appaloosan City. Which Before is you where go, the next gym is. Yes, there's something I want you two to hear. What is it? <gasps> you'll know very soon enough. You're all soon enough. Hurry now. Derp, 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 derp. Why do we have to walk? This is the place. And we're going inside. There's an old lady. You must be the ones who want to hear the old tale about Lacanuso Town. That's right. Please tell us. Behind Lacanuso Town, there's a mighty big hole. <laughs> dig a hole, dig a hole, dig, dig a hole. hole. Go down the hole. <laughs> Have you heard of the giant chasm? Oh, I've heard of heard that around the giant chasm. There have been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That I've pretty gosh dang cold. cold. That's what Sharon told me anyway. And he knows everything because he's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> the road is blocked so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. Okay. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite. Okay, yeah, that's what you just said. When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people. People and Pokemon. It's a cannibalistic, masochistic thingy! That's why everyone was afraid. The Pokemon ate people? <laughs> so our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. 
But we're good because we're just uh, passing through. <laughs> and that's the end of the old tale. <laughs> A fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Especially since we only have five minutes left. Wasn't that an interesting folk tale? It's Pokemon. more like a scary story. The Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Zekrom, who scorched Unova with intense lightning long ago. By the way, NPS, do you remember the story of Zekrom? Mmm, let's say no. I don't know it. Oh, MPS, I even told you a little about it in Lentimus Town. Zekrom is a legendary dragon-type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero of pursuing ideals. It has a black body and it can unleash fearsome lightning. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon-type Pokemon? Da da da. The meteorite. The meteorite. Zekrom was revived from a rock called the Dark Stone. Let's suppose the meteorite from this story and this stone are one and the same. Take into account that elements from the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower, where Zekrom was, and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, it should be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to come only out only at night? Like, if, like, it doesn't like sunlight or something like that? Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the name Lacanuso... La Lacanusa could be derived from Lacanuso's clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Sorry I rambled on a bit, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. MPS, could you ask Drayden about this? We rambled so this? much, we only have three minutes left. If you get a chance. I'm gonna do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. And... Oh, wait. Just so you know, Up Upelucid City's Mayor Drayden wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen them up. Okay, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Professor Juniper, wait up. All right, so next time we will go to Opelucid City. And... Hopefully be level 46 if I... Yep, and we will see you next time. And we will be taking on gym number seven. So we will see y'all then. Bye. Bye.